Hello everyone, it's Allie from Titan and welcome back to our channel. I am here with what will probably be our fastest Star Wars case opening on the channel, as I do have one 20 box case here of today's new 2022 Signature Series release. So these boxes look like what's mainly occupying the Q shelf down there. So one encased autograph card per box, that's it. So that's why it should go very quickly, even though there are 20 boxes. So last year, I did like Signature Series. I thought it was fun, you know, very easy, just get a nice little encased autograph. But we seem to be finding like one or two big names per case. So hopefully find some mega hit per case this year as well. Actually, I really like this year's base design even much more so than last year. And I've seen a few images of people having their cards in hand and they're actually foil base cards. So that is interesting. I wasn't expecting that. So I'm curious to see what they look like in person. So like I said, one 20 box case here, brand new signature series. Do still have some boxes available on our website for this weekend's personal breaks. Did have four different drafts they all filled. As you guys can see, there are a ton of boxes. There's a ton in the recorded break queue, which I have scheduled out on the queue page on the site for three per day. But I think I'll actually be able to move through that more quickly. Otherwise we're booked out through like next Friday, but should be able to do more of those per day than just what's scheduled. But otherwise, we only have two sealed cases left. Uh, we went through so much Signature Series super quickly. So the goal is to have another draft for next weekend's live stream. We'll see if we actually have any boxes left, though. But anyways, if this is going to be a quick opening, I need to stop wasting time and chatting with you all. Let's just go ahead and jump on into it here by snapping us into the corner. And here we go. Signature Series K. So 20 slash 1, 20 boxes with one pack, essentially. So let's go ahead and see what we will find. Like I said, hoping for at least one mega hit per case. Obviously you want more good cards than that, but you know, if there's like a 101 or something number to five per case, like a case hit, that would be nice. So this is what the box looks like. Star Wars Signature Series, one in case autograph per box. May contain a redemption, interesting. So we could find a redemption. May contain signers from across the Star Wars saga. There's Clone Wars, Rebels, Mandalorian. Also, you know, sequel, prequel, original trilogy autographs. Uh, oh, interestingly enough, there's a no purchase necessary information. So if you guys want want a chance to get tops to mail you an autograph, just fill out and your name and complete address on a 3x5 index card in a number 10 envelope and mail it off to that address prior to May 18th. If you're Canadian, if you live in Quebec, sorry, get wrecked. Uh, but if you are Canadian outside of Quebec, you'd have to answer that little math problem. I'll actually, I need to remind myself to do that. Because if you just get selected as one of the people, they just mail you a card from the set, which is going to be an autograph. So that, that's pretty neat. Shout out to Tops, I guess. But all right, let's get on into it. This, this is going to be a very quick case opening. Last year when we did the stream, I think it was 40 minutes and that was live. So that was me mainly talking to chat. But All right, I do have... I do have team bags to encase the autographs so they don't get scratched. Sometimes they're a little bit uh, rough out of the box, but so they don't get any more scratched than they already are. Do have those team bags on deck. All right, first autograph, we have Imperial Security Auto. All right, so that is a different design than I was expecting. That's not what I envisioned on the previews, but Philip Alexander. Ah, so this is, that's what it is. This is the variation, AVPA, autograph variation, Philip Alexander as security officer, base autograph from Mandalorian season two, right? Well, Philip Alexander variation to kick things off. So that is interesting. Looks like the classic Star Wars cards, the variation, just the base auto. The red threw me off. I was like, red one of one, security officer? None. All right, so I do like the base design a lot better than the variation, but I could see people actually liking the variation better than the base design. It is a very classic Star Wars design. Not sure what year, but I'm just not a, I'm not a fan of that one in general. All right, so I have the case balanced on the trash can, which is unfortunate because I obviously need to access the trash can. All right, that should be all right. All right, here we go, box two. Do, do, do. We have another variation, blue, K2SO, 7 of 50. Autograph variation, AT, Alan Tudyk. So that's cool, neat blue autograph here. Like the image they chose. Interesting to kick things off with two variations. All right, Alan Tudyk, number to 50. It's 
currently our best pull. Alrighty. Into our third box. Where did Tiny Knife go? Here's Tiny Knife. There are multi autographs in this product as well. That'd be an exciting find. Oh, okay. Is this actually red? But four of five, Ian McDermott is Emperor Palpatine variation. That's neat. That's cool. Number to five, Ian McDermott is Palpatine. That is cool. That looks good with that classic frame. I like the way this variation looks. I like the. I actually like all of the images they've chosen so far. This one just seems to fit really well. But all right, potentially our lowest numbered pull of the case already in box three. Ian McDermott as Palpatine. Box four. All variations? Is this just gonna be like a variation hot case? I wanna see normal cards. I know that sounds so bad. I wanna see the normal ones. We have Chris Bartlett here as zero. Another cool picture. Also from the Mandalorian. Chris Bartlett as zero. We have not gotten any normal autographs. This is weird. This seems very tops though. This seems very tops. All right. Also, I know some people are asking if I'm going to cosplay today. No, just because I have so much going on. But for a fact, they put on my Kylo Ren jacket. So, so that's why I'm not I'm not wearing this jacket in the other videos because it's hot again in Florida. It's like 80. But commitment to my craft. All right. Let's see. Box five. We have a first normal autograph. Michaela Cottrell as Evan Peel. Now, see, I really like this base design. I really like the base design. Now I was like, why does it look like this is all messed up? It's just because uh, Jedi Master Pale is sitting in the chair, but the chair is like very translucent over the background. So it looks like there's something weird going on here. But it's Jedi Master Evan Peel here, Michaela Cottrell, base autograph from the Phantom Menace. So this is what the base design looks like. I like that background. I like that background. All right, so regular base autograph took took four boxes. Well, took until the fifth box to find a regular design. But I was worried. I was like, man, I'm going to be gassing up the base design and then we not even find one. Let me know in the comment section down below which style you prefer or if it depends on the character. I feel like the regular base design hides the sticker better than... It's very obvious that these are sticker autos, whereas it blends in. I won't say hide, but blends in rather. But I really like the way that Ian McDermott looks. That's that's a good one. That's a good looking card. All right, box six here. We have Kathy Munro, a Zuckus. Base bounty hunter here. Kathy Munro, a Zuckus. Been a little while since we've seen Zuckus autographs. I think it's been since, what, 2019 Empire Black and White? Since we've seen Zuckus autographs. Nah, I feel like we've seen a masterwork. It might have been since 2019 in general, but Zuckus. I'm assuming whenever that 2021 Bounty Hunter set comes out, we'll see more Zuckus autographs. And that, that's, that's a name we haven't seen in a little bit. Some other returning names to the set include Jason Isaacs and Sarah Michelle Geller, which I want to see what the Isaacs looks like. Just because I like the Grand Inquisitor as a character. Also, also love Malfoy's dad. So that that's him, by the way, in case you didn't know, Jason Isaacs. He's also in the, what? He was also in like, what? One season of Star Trek Discovery. I haven't seen that one. But all right, next box we have. Yo, this is a good case. We have green Tom Baker as the Bendu, another returning signer we haven't seen in a while. So that's really great. You may recognize that name from Doctor Who. Voice of the Bendu, the one in the middle. We have some great returning Rebel Signers. Great returning Rebel Signers. Sarah Michelle Geller. I honestly forgot Tom Baker was on the checklist, but yes. Yeah, I actually didn't see Tom Baker on the checklist, but then Bounty Hunter mentioned it in the community tab. Oh, sorry, Bounty Hunter, I forgot. 
Uh, I want this to go here. I just don't know that we're actually beginning any more variations. I'll leave it there. I'll leave it there. There's there's not that much going on on screen right now. All right, box eight. Box eight. At some point, I'm going to lose track. Not yet, though. Box eight. Yeah. Oh, this case is all scratched up. Is this a new signer? We have Richard Brake as Valen Hess, variation, base autograph. Let's have some scratching down here. As you guys know, I still have not seen The Mandalorian, but I recognize this guy from some of the base cards in Series 2. And Valen Hess, Richard Brake as Valen Hess. Richard Brake. There's a different Brake that did Massa Meta, right? That's not the same dude, I don't think. I don't know if that's a new signer or not. At least a new character autograph. Not sure if it's a completely new signer. Tom Baker and Ian McDermott, dude. What a good case. I'm very happy so far. All right, here we go. Box nine. Hey, Emily Swallow is the armorer. That's a neat one. Looks like just a base, but really love this base design. I like the different ones too in the background. Base Emily Swallow is the armorer. This is the way. It was so cool that Bossman had that cameo for our anniversary from Emily. That was super neat. Shaping up to be a really nice case so far. Not even halfway through. With this box, we will be. Halfway through a case and it's only 12 minutes. Zooming. Zooming. Fastest rip in the West. All right. Box 10. Yeah. I don't know who this is. Five of 50, Lieutenant Jober Tavson. Michael Gibson. Ah, we've seen Michael Gibson autographs before. Yeah, out of the different Last Jedi series. I, I, I had no idea who this actor was. Did not recognize that, but this is, I don't think this is a new signer. But that is our second blue autograph of the case. Palindrome number, 05 out of 50. Tavson. Blue autograph. I'm surprised Top still has Tom Baker stickers. We haven't seen him in a while. I think we saw maybe last year's masterwork on like a triple and that was it. As long as it's been a while. Been a while. I have a 2017 masterwork wood, I think. My mom does. One of us does. It's in my box. One of us owns it. But anyways, moving along. We do have... Oh, I don't think this one's for sale. Bossman. Uh, I'll call dibs for Bossman. 38 of 50. Nice to see the number to 50. IG11 here. Taika Watiti. Nice. Nice. This has been a really sweet opening so far. Really cool signers. Really cool stuff in here. Nice to see that he's as high as 50 number too. I wouldn't think we'd see Taika base, but nice to see in 50. Last year, I think we only saw him number to 10. Up next, we have... Ah, of course, it's not a Star Wars product without Chris Edgerly here as Eeth Koth. Base autograph from the Clone Wars. I like that we're seeing a new picture. I also like how if there's stuff going on in the image they use, they just faded it out. That looks super cool. This is so much better than Topps just using the same stock photo of Eeth Koth over and over again. Look at that. That's so cool in the background. That's a really neat looking Eeth Koth autograph. Really digging that. All right, down to the last eight boxes here. Flying through this case. Man, I've been on fire today. We have, hey, Steve Bloom here as Zeb Aurelios. Steven Bloom. You may recognize this as Vincent Valentine, Wolverine, also Zeb here. Zeb Base Auto. Very neat. Nice Rebel signature. Uh, Mr. Bloom here 
He used to come to the Tampa Anime Convention almost every year. And then, of course, with everything going on it wasn't really happening. Um, I still need him to sign. I have a couple Zeb and Callus pieces that I had David Oyelowo sign through Star Wars Autograph Universe. I still need to get Zeb on those at some point. So. I do have a few Zeb autos in my collection as well. What do we have here? We have Garrick Hagen as Biggs Darklighter. There's a base autograph. Biggs. Base Biggs. I really like this base design. You know, hearing and seeing that they were foil, I was like, man, I don't know. I wanted just kind of the regular. But I do like the way they look in foil. I think this is a much better design than last year's signature series. Last year's signature series was fun. But I like this year's so far a lot better. Nice, quick, fun rip. A lot of neat characters on the checklist and a lot of really cool chases. We do have, oh, we have a gold here, or orange. Nick Kellington is Cloud, seven of 10. Wasn't expecting an orange in the case as well. Nick Kellington is Cloud. I remember when the pictures for Rise of Skywalker came out and we saw Cloud, everyone collectively was just like, what is that? And then in the movie, did Cloud even do anything except walk across the screen a couple times? Interesting that he was used for so much promo. But hey, you know what? An autograph number to 10 is number to 10. 7 of 10. I like how instead of just the border having color in the variations, there also is the tint to the background as well. The whole card is orange tinted along with you know, the orange inside that background logo and around the box. Same thing with the Bendu, of course, tinted green back there and over here. And the blues as well. The base have like a black tint to them. I wasn't expecting, honestly, a card number to 10. Kind of messes up my piles here. Down to the last five boxes. Of course, we'll do our recap at the end, which will just be going for all 20 cards again. All right, we have Leilani Shu as Jawa from The Mandalorian. Leilani Shu, a base autograph. I like the picture on that one. That is the same one, I think, from the Series 2 autographs or Season 2 autos. But I do like that picture of the Jawa. So if we stop on our variations, we did have... Five total variations, a fourth of the case, being variation autographs. Do you have, hey, Hugh Corshi is Captain Panaka, base. From the Phantom Menace of Quartz, Panaka. Did have a fresh batch of on-card Panaka autographs with 2021 Stellar. It was a new addition to the Stellar Signatures roster this past year. Not a new signer, but new addition to Stellar. Alright, so we have one autograph number to 10, one number to 5. We're going to find anything lower than that. Still holding out hope for a multi. Do have Ken Lung here as Admiral Statura from The Force Awakens. Base autograph. That's a right mess back there. There's going to be so much recycling for this weekend stream. Oh my goodness. Get my money's worth of having to pay for the monthly recycling. I, I get my money's worth out of recycling. Trust me. The recycling people might not like it, but I'm getting my money's worth. All right. We are on the second to last box. Oh no, we're almost done. This is this whole case that took less than the jumbo. That's 10 packs. Do have, hey, that's cool. Deanna Lee and Asanto here is Magistrate Morgan Elsbeth, base auto. From The Mandalorian as well, of course. Another base auto. All right, all right, all right. Okay. Rude. Oh, we do have one final box of Signature Series. Can we get a one of one, one of one? 
Wouldn't be the first of the afternoon. Can we get a multi autograph? Can we just can we just get the quad auto with the Fisher? Easy. But anyways, let's see. What do we have? I'm predicting it's gonna be blue. <laughs> it's a redemption. Okay, Paul Blake. Ah, so we have a Greedo redemption. Wasn't expecting. Wasn't expecting redemption to end off here. Ending off with a base redemption of Paul Blake. Like I said, that should be Greedo. Should be Greedo. Let's go ahead and get that. Let's get it sleeved on up for good measure. So one redemption, one red autograph, one orange, one green, three blues, five total variations. Let's go ahead. I'm curious. So one, two, three, four, five, six, six. 30% of the case being numbered. Right. Now it's not, it's not, I was hoping for a little bit more, but you know what? We got some really cool base autos as well. Also, with five of the autographs being variations, I appreciated that too. Also happy to see two really low numbered stuff out of the same case. Wasn't expecting the gold once, gold slash orange. It's probably orange. I have to check the checklist. I'm used to stuff being number to 10 being gold, but we'll have to check what the actual name is on the, well, orange. Oh, you know what's, what's cool? What's cool? All right, design A versus design B. That's cool. So the variation red is one in 755. The orange regular is one in 30. So one every case and a half. Regular base. Okay, so black out of five. Wait, no, hold on. All right, so blue, green, orange, black, red. All right, so then that's black. All right, so let me go back. Black one in 152. That was still a really rare pull. Uh, the orange, one in 30, a base, number to five, autograph, one in 59, so one in like every three cases. A red one of one, one in 290. Okay. Dual red autograph, one in 14,080. Triple, one in 2,816. Triple red. One in 14,070. And the quad autograph, one in 14,070. So there is one triple red, one quad, and one dual triple, or dual red. So the reds, yeah, reds being one of ones. And then duels in general, one in 2,816, triple 2,816. So same amount of duels and triples base autos out there. And then straight up for the three one of ones, 14,070. So I guess you could just multiply that out by three for the print run. I would think. I'm sure someone has done the math on blowout. They, they, there's usually what Vargaman does it on the math for case count, but or someone else. I'm sure I can go look what the actual case count of signature series is. But enough about those odds. Let's go ahead and run through it one more time. So pretty rare pull here. Like I said, apparently this is black. Apparently this is a black barrel. I'm thrown off by the fact that the border is red, but hey, number to five, Ian McDermott is Emperor Palpatine variation. Very nice. Then our only other numbered variation on a graph, we had Alan Tudyk here as K2SO, seven of 50, blue. And then three base variations, Philip Alexander as security officer, Chris Bartlett as zero, and this one here was Richard Brake as Valen Hess. Like I said, not sure if that's a new signer or not. Lowest numbered of the regular design, we had the Orange Cloud, 7 of 10, Nick Kellington. Really, really sweet green, Tom Baker as the Bendu, 3 of 25. Some really neat blue here with the Taika Watiti as IG-11, 38 to 50. Happy to see that he's numbered to 50. And then we also had here Michael Gibson as Lieutenant Jober Tavson, 5 of 50. Then moving on to our base autographs, we had one redemption. Paul Blake, like I said, should be Greedo. Deanna Lee and Osanto as Magistrate Morgan Elspeth. Ken Lung as Admiral Stachira. Hugh Korshi as Captain Panaka. Leilani Shu as Jawa. Derek Hagen as Biggs Darklighter. 
Stephen Blum here as Zebarellios. Chris Edgerly as Eth Koth with a really cool picture. Gives me hope for the picture for the Grand Inquisitor because Topps has used a lot of very commonly used images for the Grand Inquisitor. I like it when they get when they get deep into the search on it. I really appreciate very uncommonly used images. Like I remember when the Masterwork, which is Masterwork coming next week? I doubt it, but if it does, that'd be great. Uh, the Amelia Clark as Kira image, people were like, that's a weird still, but I, I like it a lot because I would have never picked them to find that image. That's like they took a screenshot. I, I, I like it. So. I don't know if that's minority or majority opinion, but I like that. I like uncommon pictures. And we had Emily Swallow as the Armor Bates, Kathy Munro as Zuckus, and Michaela Cottrell as Jedi Master Evan Peel. And with that, so that does it here for this case of Signature Series. Very sweet McDermott. I like that one a lot. McDermott and Bendu, I would say the highlights of the case, followed by Taika, in my opinion. If you have a particular favorite out of these 20 cards, let me know what it was in the comment section down below. But yeah, kickest, uh, kickest, quickest Star Wars case. There we go. I combined those words. By a good amount here. That was definitely me getting sidetracked by looking at pack odds and all that kind of stuff. So very quick, fun rip here. So I hope you all enjoyed it because I had a blast. So if you guys had fun, make sure you go ahead and hit that like button. Comments for me, leave those down below. Like I said, let me know what your favorite card of the case was, what you thought the best pull was. Any other comments for me, go ahead and drop that down below. You had a really cool pull. You saw something crazy. Let me know. And of course, you're not yet part of the Titan Cards family. I'd love to have you join us. Make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Also, before I get on out of here for the evening, because I have still have a lot to take care of, a lot to take care of, a lot of mail, do have to give a big shout out to all of our channel members. Thank you so much, you all, for going above and beyond with your support. Bossman and I truly do appreciate it. Do have 13 Black Label fans, Andin, Bounty Hunter Breaks, Chris Rivers, Devon, Epicenter Gaming, Fails, Tales, Kira Sotari, Mark Mardini, Mike Clotus, MT, Sean F., Stephen Olivo, and Stephen Bly. We also do have eight Gem Mint fans. Marco Verver, Dusty Archuleta, J.H. Geek, Michael C., Michael Bigelow, Scorecard Collectibles, Shinef Zen, and William Hastings. Thank you so much again, though, to all of our channel members. And all members do have their names shown on screen at the end of every video. But with that, that does it here. That's a wrap on this case. Lots of really sweet pulls here this afternoon. Lots of really sweet pulls. You know, I was showing Bossman. I was like, yo, this is cool. I found this 101 out of the jumbo. He's like, <gasps> and I was like, what? So that, that's apparently a crazy card. I, I definitely underreacted on that one, but it's been a great afternoon. This is really cool. I like, I like the variation design on that one, but in general, I still prefer the base. But with that, that does it here for this one. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Take care, stay safe, and hope to catch you all in the next video. Bye.